Leon Panetta, the son of Italian immigrants, hasn't simply lived up to the American dream. He has helped preserve and protect it for all of us. Whether as a congressman, White House chief of staff, secretary of defense, or CIA director, he has pursued his vision of an America that is safe and strong, tolerant and just, with wisdom, courage, and compassion. In a capital that is long on partisanship and short on mutual respect, he has earned the admiration of Republicans and Democrats alike as one of the nation's most gifted and trustworthy public servants. Leon could fight as hard for his party and its principles as anybody I've ever known. But when it came time to get the work done, Leon Panetta was successful. And one of the reasons was is that he always treated whoever he was dealing with, with respect. Panetta began his career in public service as a Republican on the staff of a senator from his native California. After a year-long stint in the Nixon administration, he left Washington to practice law near the family home in Monterey. Five years later, in 1976, he was elected to Congress as a Democrat. His reputation quickly grew, and from 1989 to 1993, he chaired the influential House Budget Committee with distinction. His consummate political skills and deep understanding of the federal government came to the attention of President Clinton, who tapped him to become Director of the Office of Management and Budget in 1993, and just a year later, to be White House Chief of Staff. In 1997, Panetta left Washington to begin a more reflective period of his life. His fellow Californian, Representative Jane Harmon, came to Congress the same year that Panetta left. As soon as I arrived, you bolted. Cause and effect? Well, I don't blame you. Uh, as you like to say, uh, eventually you went back to your farm to be surrounded by nuts, just not the nuts we found in Congress. Returning to Monterey, he founded the Panetta Institute with his wife, Sylvia, to educate the next generation on the importance of public service. Above all, the Panetta Institute teaches that civility and integrity matter in a democracy. These were values that would serve him well in the next and perhaps most challenging phase of his career as President Obama's director of the CIA. Joining the agency in 2009, Panetta repaired its battered image and restored staff morale. He prepared the CIA to undertake one of its boldest and most intricate missions, targeting Osama bin Laden. Panetta called the bin Laden operation the biggest accomplishment of his career. Just a few days before the bin Laden mission, President Obama nominated Panetta to be Secretary of Defense. Panetta managed vast cuts in defense spending, as well as the withdrawal from Iraq and drawdown in Afghanistan. The Secretary of Defense, Leon Panetta, practiced intense leadership. He was able to, because of his personality and his leadership, inspire in the uniform military both respect and affection. He was most effective here on the Hill of almost any that I have known. He also strengthened America's alliance with Israel in collaboration with his Israeli counterpart, Ehud Barak. At Barak's request, Panetta advocated contributing $700 million to Israel's Iron Dome missile defense system, the weapon that has been so instrumental in defending Israel against attack. After four challenging and successful years at the very top of America's defense and intelligence establishment, Panetta once again left Washington for Monterey. In his tribute to Panetta, President Obama recalled the influence of his immigrant parents. And as you review these fine troops one last time, as you return home and walk your farm, know that the grand arc of your life speaks to our larger American story. For you can say with confidence and with pride that you fulfilled the hopes that brought Carmelo and Carmelina Panetta to these shores all those years ago. You made them proud. You've helped to keep alive the American dream for not only your children and grandchildren, but for all of our children and grandchildren. Leon Panetta, scholar, statesman.